like doodling, which isn't normally, I plan more usually, but uh, just kind of having fun for now. Vibe like 1980s pop, kind of. I've been an artist all my life, and I, I just started spray painting last May, actually. And I recommend it to any artist, or actually to anyone. It's the most fun you can have uh, doing any medium of art. Like graffiti's fun. You feel like a badass when you do it too. You know, there's like this little adrenaline rush that you get when you're doing it. So it does give you that badass feeling. And plus, you can go as big as you want. And also, the colors are pretty awesome too. So. <laughs> Yeah, check this out. One of these days, once this thing's full, uh, fully uh, covered with art, I want to get it published, but only if they can mimic the metallics and the texture too. I moved here in April 2016, so almost two years. It's just continued to get bigger. I mean, I feel like every weekend there's more and more people that are coming out here. When I found this house, I was like, oh cool, I get to be next to the graffiti park. I used to do stuff all, over there all the time. And I didn't quite know how much it had changed when I signed my lease. It used to be a place where you could come and see like awesome murals and now it's a place for people from out of town or people that don't live downtown to come and tag their name with the date and take a selfie and, you know, that kind of stuff, so. My son, he's doing his senior pictures and he is a artist, he's a rapper, so. This is actually our first, yeah. Yeah, by so just taking everything in. We feel like we should make a bigger contribution if we're gonna draw on it. I love the idea that it's very Austin too, that artists get to have their voice, and not even artists, just people. Yeah, street art is like a reflection of the actual city. So it's an opportunity for people to leave their mark. That's what I was trying to do. If you go down to the steps, you can see I have this beautiful big cactus and it's covered in graffiti. My mailbox gets painted, the spot under my mailbox, and sometimes it's really fun stuff and I'm like, oh, I like that. In my driveway right now, it says, Mo Bitches, which is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> The street is not set up 
for this many people. There's no parking for the park, right? So sometimes people will pull over into my driveway thinking it's an extra spot, even though it's clearly a residence. Uh, yeah, making a few bucks for myself. I hardly can't park around here. So, well, I have my parking spaces, but people don't really like to realize that those are parking spaces. <laughs> I love this city, but it's, eh, you know, change. Shit happens. <laughs> can't really do much about it. We're sad to hear that it's being torn down. Yeah. We found out in, what is it, in June? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's like a part of, it feels like a part of the soul of the city is going to be disappearing. Yeah. So that's upsetting. From what I've heard, the new venue is going to be an art center and so they'll have like classes. I think they even said it's going to be a music venue. They're going to take part of the one of these walls as like a, you know, to commemorate its time here or whatever. I feel like the new place is not going to have the same soul that this place has. This place organically became Graffiti Park. This is the place is going to be like it's forced, you know, they're, they're making it into Graffiti Park. So I don't know, I, I, I think I'm going to miss that, but only time will tell, you know, if it's going to be, it's going to have that same feeling that this place has. friends with the, the merchants. I'll miss them probably more than <laughs> everybody else. In Austin, I've been doing it for almost a month now, but I started doing this about three months ago. That's a really honest space. I mean, just look at it. People got a lot to say. Titled Plump on the Vine, the saturated soil, pregnant echoes of rainfall, shinefall mixed, skyward, upward, gravity be damned, the roots calm transition into the azure madness of a sun drenched, aching sky. Reaching for the beauty above, for there is nothing else to do but soak in love and press forth into view.